to me, the definition of sustainable is to be viable. So to be a viable business moving forward from a profit loss standpoint and to be flexible enough to change with the times and change what we need to be changing. Uh, I went uh, up to Indiana. Corey Craig is a, is a big friend of mine up in Indiana. And I remember five years ago, right, right after I started here, I went up there and spent some time with him and he took me out to a small robot dairy. It was an old fashioned Dutch guy and he had one robot. And I just fell in love with it. I saw the cows, I saw the environment. It was totally unlike anything I've ever seen. You know, I, I've always managed cows in groups. And I walked in that barn and I saw, I saw cows on individual schedules. It was, I mean, I'll, I'll say it like this, five years ago, I said there's no way this works on a large scale. So when I walked into that, that one robot farm in Indiana five years ago, and I saw every cow was doing their own thing, and it was so laid back, and so, it just, it looked inviting. Continuing to see a number of farms run successfully, and, and, and it being an improvement in their operations, and it was pretty obvious that it's, that's probably the route we, we needed to go. So our last change on the farm is, uh, is uh, eight robots. And we've been watching the technology for a number of years, and uh, we knew at some point in time we would have to start replacing this facility. So the way the barn's laid out is we've got four groups. We've got a group here, a group here, and a group there, and a group there. We've got uh, two robots per pen, about 120 cows in each pen. So this would be my fresh group uh, that we introduce fresh cows twice a week. And these cows have their own environment, so they don't have to compete with the trained cows out there. They've got everything those cows do. They've got water, feed, uh, a place to lay down. They also have the ability to milk. Come over here and push this oats over, and they milk. And once they milk, the sort gate routes them back into this sort pen. So they stay here until they're trained and know how to use the system. We're uh, moving cows into our facility that we, we think will do real well in the facility, but we're sure not losing any milk. We're probably ahead a little bit. The cows are milking in this facility stronger than we've ever had cows milk before. So, But it all goes back to training. If you do not train your cows properly, then you're not going to have an efficient barn and an economical barn. So you've got to put your time in early so you get your payout later. It's been, a, it's been a good transition. So I generally smile every time I get my weekly report. Uh, we're, we've been from 100 to 105 pounds uh, consistently through this operation and, uh, and haven't had any major blunders yet. So it's been, it's been a good transition. Well, I love the robot system of feeding because it is very efficient to me. We can produce, we can provide nutrients for every individual cow through a partial TMR and then supplement that with a proper amount of pellets according to production and efficiency and cow health needs. We're going to be able to manage them better, you know, with the tools, rumination. Look, look at the rumination here at 537. Uh, very, very good, you know, um, and. Uh, you know, managing the cell count of every cow, you know, finding when she has any issues. Uh, the system and uh, provides a lot of tools that we haven't had in, in the past. So it really does give us an opportunity to, to maximize the profitability of the cows, in my opinion. There's nothing, there's nothing more enjoyable than seeing a cow give another pound of milk. So it means the decision I've made has, has, pop, has been a good one. So, so the cows tell you most of what you need to know. So the first thing you do when you walk in a barn is you look at the cows, and, 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 and then you make a decision on how well it's run, or, or then you start asking questions based on what the cow's telling you, and, and I mean, they do the talking. So, so when I walk in this barn, I, I, I think we're doing a good job because of what the cows are doing. Not only what the cows are showing me here, but what they're showing me on their computer, the results we're getting. There's no doubt to me that the industry will move this way because it's, it's, just, it's, it's just a better environment for cows and it's, uh, it's a better business environment, really. So there's no doubt in my mind that we'll see the industry transition this way.